Hi guys, and welcome to another video by the iMac men. So on Tuesday the 23rd of October, Apple held a keynote to announce various products. The invite said, we've got a little bit more to show you, but there was quite a lot covered. So let's get started. First of all, the Mac lineup was refreshed. As predicted, the 13-inch MacBook Pro was refreshed, so it now was a retina display. This MacBook Pro was upgraded in a similar way to the 15 inch that was covered last WWDC. So as I said before it has a retina display with over 4 million pixels and it now has up to 75% less glare. It comes with flash storage now with the lowest storage being 128GB. The new 13 inch MacBook Pro comes with the i5 or the i7 Intel chips with a powerful Intel HD Graphics 4000 and even with these upgrades the MacBook still has up to 7 hours of battery life. The Mac Mini was also updated and this now has an Ivy Bridge processor which is, comes in 2.5 GHz i5 or the 2.7 GHz i7 meaning it is up to 2 times faster. The Mac Mini also comes with Intel HD Graphics 4000 you can get the storage in SSD flash storage, a hard drive with up to 1TB or a new type of storage Apple announced called Fusion Drive. Fusion Drive combines a 1TB hard drive with a 128GB flash drive. Apple's software will automatically install Mountain Lion onto the flash drive and puts all the installed Apple software onto the flash drive such as iMovie, GarageBand and iPhoto. Your Mac will then see what software has been most commonly used and will benefit from being moved onto the flash storage and it will then move that software onto the flash drive so that the applications you use the most will run quickly. Finally in the new Mac lineup a new iMac was announced. This Mac now has a new form factor and the rim is only 5mm thin. It looks amazing. The LED display is 5mm thinner and the 2mm gap between the LED display and the glass has now been removed which is something they did on the Retina MacBook Pros but it's apparently Apple said it was very hard for them to do it with such a big screen but they managed. Like the 13 inch display, um, the new iMac now has 75% less glare. It has an Intel Core processor ranging from 2.7 GHz to 2.4 GHz and depending on how many GHz you get depends whether it's the i5 or the i7 processing chip. It also comes with a NVIDIA GeForce graphics processor built on, Ke on the Kepler technology delivering up to 80% greater performance with graphic intensive tasks. The new iMac will, will now come with one terabyte hard drive as standard or you have the option to upgrade to a flash drive or you can get it with that fusion drive that we talked about earlier with the Mac Mini. Finally it comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM standard and the base price is £1,099 so I think that's quite good. So as well as an update to the Mac line, we also saw an update to the iPad lineup. First of all, there was a fourth generation iPad announced, and this didn't have major upgrades, but there now is an A6X processing chip that Apple says is up to twice as fast as the one in the previous iPad. This fourth generation iPad also comes with ultra-fast wireless technology, like the one we saw in the iPhone 5, and prices for this iPad are the same as they previously were. As expected, the iPad Mini was announced, but Apple did not make it marketed to the cheaper as a cheaper iPad. They still aim to bring a luxury product, and the new iPad Mini is just as good and in some ways better to the iPad 2. 
The new iPad screen is 7.9 inches big, so apps previously made for the iPad will still work as it still holds the same aspect ratio. Um, it is also very light and thin as it is 7.2 millimeters thin and 308 um, grams light. Apple said that it is as thin as a school pencil. The iPad mini comes with the A5 chip that we saw in the iPad 2 and it still has 10 hours of battery life. The front facing camera is 720p so you can do FaceTime HD and the back camera is 5 megapixels. The iPad mini has the ultra fast wireless technology as well and does come in a cellular model. The iPad mini starts at a price of £269. Now Apple said that they brought out the iPad mini so that the iPad is available to pretty much everybody. Finally, Apple also announced iBooks 3. Now this didn't have major updates from what I could see, but it did come with a few ones that could be nice. There's now a scrolling theme, so you can now scroll through your books instead of having it by pages. And there's a full screen mode. It also comes with iCloud, so you can get books on books that you bought on all your devices. So, that's my coverage of the Apple's WWDC for the 23rd of October. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like or subscribe. And if you like the channel, please think about liking the Facebook page, which is the iMacMen. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.